Hello and welcome to Rover Building. Today you're going to build a model of a rover that might be seen on Mars. You're going to start off with a certain set of supplies. First, you're going to need four wheels. Your rover is going to contain four wheels, so you will need to get these four if they're not already placed in front of you. You're also going to need two wooden dowels. These will be pre-cut for you. You're going to need two about this size. You're also going to need two pieces of a straw. These also will be pre-cut for you. You will need two of these. And you will need a popsicle stick that is cut in half. And you will need four regular popsicle sticks. These are your basic building blocks for your rover. These materials you must have. Once you have completed putting these together, you will be able to use some other supplies in order to make your rover look a little bit different. To start off, you're going to want to use your straw and one of your half popsicle sticks. The first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to glue the popsicle stick on top of the half of a straw. Using the glue gun, place the glue gun and glue, put a bead of glue on the straw. Be careful not to burn yourself. And then place the half popsicle wooden stick on top of it like that. When you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Next, you are going to take the other straw and half popsicle stick and glue those together. Again, take the hot glue, put it on the straw, and then glue the popsicle stick on top of the straw like that. Be careful not to touch the glue. The glue is very hot. Once you have created the two pieces like this, you are going to need your wooden dowels. Take one wooden dowel and one wheel. Take the one end of the wooden dowel and place it inside of the hole of the wheel. You may need to use the table or a friend to help you push it in there. Try twisting the wooden dowel until it goes in. It's a very tight fit and the advantage of that is you don't have to glue it in there. It should be in there nice and snug. Once you have gotten one of the wheels in, take the other wooden dowel, take another wheel, and place the wooden dowel inside of that wheel like you did with the first one. Again, you may need to twist it and turn it in order to get it in. You may need to use a friend, or you may need to use the table in order to help you get it in. You now have two wooden dowels done with wheels on the ends. You're going to need to take one of the straws that you created before and your wooden dowel and you're going to place the wooden dowel through the straw like that. You're going to notice that the wooden dowel comes out at the other end, which is perfectly fine. Take your wooden wheel and then place the wooden wheel on the other end. Again, you may need to turn it in order to get it in. Make sure that your wooden dowel does not come out the other end of the wheel. Once you have done that, do the same thing with the other straw. You now have two wooden dowels with wheels on them. Now what we must do is we must, must connect the two of them. Using your four popsicle sticks that you got before, you're going to use these popsicle sticks in order to connect your wheels to one another. Place a little bit of glue at the end of your popsicle stick. Take your big popsicle stick and put it right on the end. Just like that. My recommendation is to now glue the other wheel to the popsicle stick like this. Take a small thing of glue, put it on the wheel, and glue your popsicle stick on top. At this point in time, your wheels should now be connected to one another like that. Glue the next popsicle stick right next to the first one. Little piece of glue on either end. Take your wooden popsicle stick and place it down on top of the glue. Make sure that the two popsicle sticks are right next to each other and right up against one another. Now glue the last two 
in place. You have now completed the base of the rover. At this point in time, you will be able to add other things to your rover. Be creative. Think of ways that you can use some of the supplies that are around you. You have small popsicle sticks, large popsicle sticks, blocks of oddly shaped wood, pieces of wood that can interconnect with one another, and little pointy pieces. Once you have created and finished your body, you will need to incorporate or include other items that are found on most rovers on Mars. First off, you will need to include an antenna. An antenna is used to send and receive communications between your rover and Earth. Second, you'll need to include solar panels. Solar panels will provide your rover with energy and electricity. This way it is actually able to move. You will also need to include a camera. Cameras are very important on rovers because they supply us with pictures or videos of what they're seeing around their surrounding areas. You will also need to include a spectroscope. A spectroscope is a lot like a telescope, but it allows us to tell what kind of chemicals are found in and around the surrounding areas. So we can look at rocks and different things and tell exactly what kinds of things make it up. Lastly, you will need to include some kind of arm or shovel. Curiosity is very different from the other rovers because it includes an arm and a shovel that it's able to pick up dirt and then put it into its own laboratory built on board and analyze or look at the dirt and those samples. This way it can tell what kinds of things are found in the soil. If you have completed all of those things, you have included an arm and a shovel, an antenna or some kind of communications dish, solar panels, an x-ray spectroscope, and a camera, you may try and include other things that you think you might find on a rover. Here's an example of my finished rover. As you can see, I use the aluminum foil to help show my solar panels on the sides. I have my antenna sticking up right here on the side. I have my arm or shovel down here in the front. I also have my spectroscope pointing out right here. Built into the side, I put my camera, which is located right here. If you have time when you are finished, try and use some of the markers to help color in and decorate your design. Make it look as realistic as possible. Good luck and enjoy.